In this video, I will show you how to create your custom routines in Talent and how do we call that routine from a Talent job. Right, so for this example, I have a simple Java routine uh, which we will um, you know, talk about uh, in a minute. And we will also um, you know, discuss few of the use cases where routines will be beneficial and how do we overcome certain uh, limitations of existing component. Right, so let's get started on this. For this quick demo, uh, I'll be making use of this uh, simple you know, routine here. It will always uh, start with um, you know package routines, uh, followed by the public class and the class name. And inside uh, that class, you may have one or more uh, methods. So in my case, I have a method called uh, reverse string. Uh, it will take a string input and reverses it. For example, if you uh, pass in ABC, it will return uh, CBA. And this is achieved uh, using a for loop. Uh, by reading one by one character and then printing it uh, reverse right so let's see how um, you know this uh, routine can be um, created in talent so for that all i'm doing is you know copy this uh, uh, routine and let's head back to the talent um, yeah so here is the demo job uh, which we will test it in a minute so before that let's go ahead and create one uh, you know routine here so routines are always you know present in under code under that, uh, when you expand, you will see routines, right? You will have a uh, custom routines uh, created by the users. Otherwise, uh, there are uh, certain system routine, right? All the transformations uh, we have used in the past, they're all based on uh, the existing uh, system routines. So for this demo, let's go ahead and create one and we will just rename it as reverse. Okay, click finish and you will get this um, you know predefined template for uh, the routine uh, you can just ignore it and we will go back to our routine copy and then paste it here right so this is all uh, required on the routine side i have saved it and before we uh, call the routine let's run this job and see what is the output first and then we will include another uh, column and we will uh, make a call to uh, this routine so if you observe i have like 10 records uh, it's just printing the stock market currency and then the price right so let's say um, i'm i i want to add another column and wherever my stock market is uh, let's say uh, nyse i want to you know reverse the string and then print it on uh, the new column so let's go ahead and do that now so for that, uh, you can uh, very well do it using T Java row. Um, so for that, I'll be first creating a new uh, column here. I'll just call it as reverse value. Okay, let's go ahead and decide some length. We will click on yes, um, so that that newly added column goes to our log row also. So for that, uh, what I'll be doing is uh, we have to use that column name first and then pass in the value for it. So here is the column name and all you have to do is just do a equal and uh, start typing the um, you know, routine name and hit dot. Then you will be able to see all the methods that are available uh, in that routine. So let's go ahead and click on it and uh, we will be passing let's say the currency so whenever uh, my stock market um, uh, is nyse you know i want uh, this to be printed as um, the currency to be printed as you know reverse this is just a one use case um, I just this just for the demonstration purpose so don't worry much um, so in order to put that condition uh, we will have to put if uh, statement i have added this if statement wherein uh, if my input uh, stock market value is NYSE, then all I'm doing is this reverse value should be a reverse string of currency. Else, uh, just pass the currency as is. So what will happen when we run this uh, particular job? Uh, the currency for uh, only for the NYSE stock market should be uh, reversed. So let's go ahead and uh, check that value. Okay, so first one is in uh, NASDAQ, 
for that um, the currency value is same and for NYSE uh, okay so this is a palindrome so let's go ahead and pick some other value okay so here NYSE uh, the currency is CNY and uh, that is reversed as YNC so this is how uh, you can uh, make use of um, you know routines uh, in order to reverse a particular string so this is one of the use case uh, just for this demo purpose uh, but the real use case starts when uh, you have certain limitations with your uh, you know existing component let's say you have uh, some limitation with a uh, looping in your component which you wanted to do it otherwise you want to do some encryption and decryption so that will be one of the best uh, use case for uh, routines so here is one uh, quick example uh, in this routine um, there are a couple of uh, already methods here one is the encrypt so it will take the input uh, string as you know encrypt um, you know un unencrypted uh, string uh, and it will pass in uh, the encrypted uh, string you can use it for you know masking passwords or uh, you know safely transmitting any card details or any other you know information and uh, you can also have a decrypt uh, method on the same using the same um, you know kind of algorithm which you have used for encryption so this can be achieved only using um, you know uh, routines and um, another use case would be let's say your uh, input data is coming in some format and you wanted to um, you know transform that to a standard format um, you know company format you know uh, it could be something different for instead of uh, applying the transformation uh, like date formatting every time what you can do is um, with whatever file input file it is uh, you can uh, use the date field and call a particular routine to you know change the format of the uh, date right for example if you want it in yyyy mmdd or in any other format uh, in order to make that generic uh, you can make use of routines you can do a lot of data masking uh, masking uh, you know activities uh, using routines or if you have any scientific clarify you know calculations or aggregation that you want to do uh, which may not be possible, um, you know, by the aggregator component. So for those, um, you know, tasks, you can make use of uh, Java routines. And um, there are uh, several use cases, but uh, here are some uh, mainly, you know, encryption, decryption, you know, date conversions or any mathematical or statistical um, kind of calculation can be, uh, you know, done using routines. And this is how uh, you can you know have your talent job uh, to call that routine and uh, you know give the desired output